Gabon State Governor David Umaye, who is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, said desperate politicians are behind the killings and kidnapping in the region. He can imagine this. People are actually using innocent Nigerians for politics, politicizing with innocent life. God in heaven will never forgive them. Hello, everyone. You are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please kindly do. And don't forget to click the follow button. This is where you get notification whenever we upload any video from this channel. Thank you very much once again. God bless you. Now, the news reads in detail. Ebony State Governor David Umai, who is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, said desperate politicians are behind the killings and kidnapping in the region. Umai made the comment on Tuesday after a virtual meeting with the five governors of the region in attendance. The governors are so worried about the killings and kidnapping that are going on by our people in the Southeast killing our own people and the security agencies who might stated at the government house in Abakeleke. The situation is being heightened by the activities of every desperate politicians, this time irrespective, irrespective of party affiliations. There are so many desperate politicians in our political parties that are so desperate for power and they have aligned with some bandits in the southeast to destabilize the nation. Governor Omai, however, urged the five southeast governors to voice out against killing with their domain. Sorry, within their domain. <laughs> this is not just by voicing out about the killings and all that. The governors they should they, they should look for how to tackle this problem you understand because innocent nigerians are dying for what they don't know i've never seen a situation whereby somebody will just bring out gun and start shooting people killing people at ease what did they do to you nothing did you didn't they did not offend you you never had any issue with them you just bring out your gun and start killing people anyhow this have to stop. Thank God they themselves, they know what is happening. At least they used to say that if you have a problem and you don't know that you have a problem, that means you have a problem. But if you have a problem and you know that you have a problem, that means you have already gotten a solution to that problem. So since they know the problem of their problems, they should look for how to tackle this problem. You understand? You know, by voicing out or whatever, they should look for a way to curb this killing. Nigerians cannot be dying for what they don't know. I've never seen this kind of thing. Life is no longer valued. People being slaughtered like fowl. You can't even go to your farm freely because of fear of bandits. You can't even travel freely on the road because of fear of bandits. So they think that this the, the 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 fear of this bandit has gone to that extent that even a farmer will be kidnapped and they will be asking for ransom. Abba, Abba, who did we offend? How did we get here? How? How did we get here? What is actually happening? So, some persons, because. They, they are in position, or whatever, according to them, that politicians, politicians are behind the killings of innocent Nigerians. Politicians are behind the killings of innocent Nigerians. They be saying it. They know what is happening. And they cannot even find solution to what is happening. So how are we going to find peace? You people are crying about kidnapping or whatever. You don't want to do something about it. Set set up a, 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 poli, a community policing. Yes. Set it up. Then protect your people from being killed. Though 
you people, you don't have problem. Because all this thing that is happening is still, is still on the head of poor Nigerians. Because they are still the victims of all these circumstances. Now, then, then they key. They don't know anything. You will go farm, they will kill you. They rape old women. They rape children. Even to the extent of raping a pregnant woman. And some persons are just there, fold their hands and be looking. Doing nothing about this. God is watching. Whatever you do on this earth, one day you will give account to it. That is just the gospel truth. And if you are in a place, I always say this, it's my slogan. If you are in a place, you feel that <laughs> you are going to be there forever. Sorry. Life is not permanent. So if the life you have is not permanent, so what tells you, what tells you, what is giving you that strength that that place you are is going to be permanent? Somebody was there before you and somebody is still going to be there after you. Why can't you just use your little time you have on this health to protect those you feel you can protect? People that voted you in there. These are the poor masses under the sun. They stood to make sure that you are in that position. After getting to that place, you have forgotten about them. Now they can't they use them like uh, 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 people when they use a ram for sacrifice. And you say, God, not go raise a hand one day. That is a very big lie. It will end one faithful day. And the word will say it. That is just my last word. So, hello, guys. What's your view on this? I'm going to drop it here for now. Let's hear from you. Kindly leave your view below the comment section. Thank you.